This is Lloyd F. Bitzer. Born in 1931, he taught at the University of Wisconsin-Madison for 30 years. He is best known for his work as a rhetorician. Bitzer defined rhetoric as discourse that people can use to alter reality. His most famous theory was that of the rhetorical situation, about which he wrote, When I ask, what is the rhetorical situation, I want to know the nature of those contexts in which speakers or writers create rhetorical discourse. Bitzer believed that the rhetorical situation was made up of three things, the first being an exigence, which is an event that strongly invites utterance, the second being an audience. The audience is who the writer speaks to. He or she will be altered by the speaker's discourse. The third is a constraint, made up of persons, events, objects, and relations which are part of the situation because they have the power to constrain decision and action needed to modify exigence. Let's see an example to help us understand. Say we have a city. In this city, there are lots of people, and this guy comes and threatens to destroy it. The threat causes people to panic. This would be the exigence. A hero comes along. Let's call him Rhetoric Man. He uses discourse to alter the situation. In this case, the audience would be the monster. Rhetoric Man's discourse changed the actions of a monster. A constraint in this situation might be the monster's willingness or ability to hear reason. Another example might be when Osama bin Laden was killed. This was the exigence that mandated discourse. President Obama fulfilled that mandate at his address to the American people. His speech calmed people down and allowed the American people to feel closure to a decade-long hunt after a tragic event in American history.